tell us now, come for counsel a number of times and I have come concerning the reported for. And every time I come here, it's not projects that I have started uh, from start to finish. Most times it's projects that someone have gotten started and have a problem with. And right now, in later years, 60% of my business comes from people that have problems with court enforcement because they know I've been dealing with it for 30 years. But, okay, the problem we have right now is that uh, Sam Obedi, he works in uh, stone drainage. Sam Obedi, okay, uh, you apply for, I'm quite sure you, you all know about it, apply for a stone letter, they give you recommendations, okay. Uh, now, we have some property, and the deed reads as such. It says, uh, uh, HKS at block 2, block 46, 47, 48. To me, that's three different pieces of property. That's three lots, one block. Deed reads, uh, basically the same thing. Uh, 40, uh, 46, 47, 48, block 2. Okay, uh, Mr. Beatty, he wanted to be one piece of property. That takes on a different drainage percentage. That's 0.5 drainage system, which on a, on a house, you have to put in a, uh, basically, you got, you got to put in a, a detention uh, pond for a house, build a house, because it's three lots. Because it's, those three lots are equivalent to 1.44 acres. Okay, now we only bid it on one lot. Okay, so I talked to Mr. Greer, he said, well, like, go and have another revise, then uh, Mr. B, uh, you can explain to him, and he can uh, uh, revise. So I go to him, and he said that, okay, well, show me that it's uh, only one lot. Uh, show me that it's three lots, three different lots, and not more than one piece of property. But one piece of property, when it's free class, it's either a track or it's a reserve. And he should know that. You know, I, I know that. You know, you know, because if it read lot and block, that's what it is, lot and block. And if it's a, a one piece of property, it read track or it read reserve, unrestricted reserve or, or restricted reserve. So we asked it now. Because we, we can't do it one way or the other because Sam B won't give a letter that says one piece of property. Give us a letter that says one piece of property and we can deal with that. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Your time has expired. Mr. Uh, Mr. Schumer? No. no. Mr. Johnson, uh, I don't have any background information other than what you're saying. I, I understand what you're saying. If, if, if it's viewed as one track, how it could impact your detention requirements. I understand where you're coming from. There and also could potentially see where the city is saying about the, that they see it as one lot where you know you're saying that it's not. Uh, you know, you need a visit with Mr. Gary Norman. I don't know if you have a chance to visit with him. He's the liaison for public uh, with public works. Yes, and so uh, we need uh, we need to drill down a little bit deeper and see if we could navigate through some of the, uh, the issues there, uh, Mr. Norman. I don't have a lot of the background information, so if you could visit with him and we'll see if and we can get a result for you somehow. Yes, sir. Okay. You know, because it's uh, I'm sure. very clear. But just give us an answer one way or another. Oh. Make it be. One moment, Mr. Tuff. We do have a council member that wishes to address you. Council member Christie. I think it's going to reiterate what he says there. What you're uh, presenting to us kind of makes common sense that you don't need a detention for one lot out of 1.4. But uh, I guarantee you, you work with the city and something will be worked out. So check with Mr. Norman. Yes, sir. Well, see, one lot won't be 1.44 acres. Right. Yeah. But I three, know that. three lots will be. It means the same thing. Yes, sir. Right. contiguous lot, then it'll be used like that, but it's individual parcels. But you're talking about fighting issues and other things, so we need to do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Bogart, I'm Bobby Taylor. I'm a fully 